Okay, let us look at another uh, interesting variation to the recurrent uh, neural network. This is called uh, gated recurrent neural uh, network or gated recurrent uh, unit. We usually call it as a GRU. Okay. So, th there is a slight variation in what we saw earlier uh, with respect to LSTM. Uh, here we have only about uh, two states, uh, rather uh, two gates. One is the reset gate, second one is the update gate. And then you would also notice that there is no memory cell that is passing through this. Okay, it is making use of the same uh, uh, HT that we had computed in the normal RNN or the vanilla RNN with a slight change uh, in terms of uh, how we want to allow the values to be passed on to the next state. So, in this case uh, we have a, a line passing through that becomes a HT. Okay. Uh, here we have an input, <coughs> then we combine the HT 1 and XT here and then call it as uh, QT and then q t is connected to a sigmoid function and then we have an R reset uh, gate. So, in this case the reset value is used by other gates. So, we have the reset gate and then we have the update gate that connects the q t uh, through a sigmoidal function uh, rather we have the we have the update gate that connects a q t and uh, the weight here which we can call it as wzt. It is a sigmoid function and then what it does here is it takes the value that is computed here using the sigmoid and it is 1 minus of that. We will come to that later. And then we have another <coughs> a new memory that is computed which takes the value from zt and then it takes the value from the reset gate and finally, does a element wise addition to create a history there. Right? So, in this case it looks little simpler, but again this is not a very uh, uh, simple implementation. Let us look at the <coughs> the forward pass equation. I am not going to be going into the details of uh, how the backward uh, propagation is computed. It is very similar to what we had seen in the recurrent neural network. Only thing is we need to uh, worry about the back propagation in the gates as well. Okay. So, in this case as I mentioned q t is a function of uh, x t and x t that is why that is how we will keep it to make it simple. And then we compute the update gate using a sigmoidal function and there is a <coughs> weight that connects this. Okay. Since we are using the uh, hidden layer the weights are of u right. So, we have a new z and then we compute is a t and then we compute the reset gate using q t right and the weights that connects this this is your u t or rather u r this is your u uh, z or u z and then new memory is uh, computed using h t here Okay, uh, which makes use of the reset gate values okay, and the values coming in from. So, it comes from here okay. So, the connections are little daunting. Let me try to have another simple diagram at the end of this and then we compute the new value or the new state using this right i think it is very clear in the diagram how we are doing this and then the new state of this is computed using the hyperbolic tangent function 
and then the output or rather the predicted value is computed using the softmax. It is done in the very similar fashion as we had done earlier. Okay. So, what are the intuition that you get in this right. Uh, if you reset if the reset gate values are you know 10 to 0, the previous memory states are faded. Okay. So, the values are not going to be 0 if for every element right in this case. There could be some values because we are taking the sigmoidal value. So, it is going to be between 0 and 1 and there could be some intermediate values. So, when you do the element wise multiplication the values would become smaller or it would get boosted up. Okay. So, that is what happens in this uh, reset gate. And if the z d or the if the z t value is close to 1, the information is copied and we are going to be keeping that right. And then that is what happens when the values are very close to 0, h t is going to be maintaining that value. So, we are going to be taking the value that are coming from the reset value and then element wise multiply the z t and the new memory and finally, add it with the uh, h t 1 that is coming along in this direction using an element wise operation to get this right. <coughs> so, when you do this operations when uh, z t is close to 1 the gradients are kept alive. That means, I am going to be there for the next operations as well you know in the forward pass. So, by doing thus what, uh, what happens is the values that are found in the long distance from the target are kept alive. So, that when you do the back propagation you still manage to find that. So, that you are able to really do the uh, gradient design properly and then the uh, gradients are behaving properly because we are taking care of the derivatives right during the forward pass itself using these gates. So, this is the intuition that I have uh, with respect to the, uh, the gate that we find in the uh, GRU. So, the gates are actually meant for managing the values of your uh, a chain that goes across from state 1 to uh, state uh, t. So, the intuition here is uh, when you do the back propagation the error that you find between the gold and the predicted values are propagated back and those values really condition the uh, matrices that it uh, comes across. Uh, since the gates already have conditioned the values in such a way that there is going to be a gradient alive when you back propagate, we will not get into the problem of vanishing gradient. So, these uh, gates are extremely important in terms of really keeping the gradients alive during the long 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 term back propagation. Okay. So, this if this looks daunting let me try to uh, draw this little bit uh, better. I think I found this from one presentation uh, somewhere. And then we have the input correct and then we have gates let us say this is the reset gate uh, this is the uh, update gate and then this is your a new memory correct. Okay. So, x t connects to all of these right. and then h t connects to the reset gate, h t connects to u, h t connects to the new memory 
right. And then there is a value that comes here, right. So, this reset gate connects to the new memory. and then u connects in this fashion and so on. So, this is a very simple representation of what we saw in the earlier diagram. Okay, so, with this uh, I conclude the uh, lecture series on RNN, LSTM and GRU.